freaking happened on camera. All right. <laughs> so this is the 2020 Final Wine and Good Spirits pick of the Maker's Private Select. Also, what, one, uh, 110? Uh, around there. It's like 109 something. 108.5. Either way, it's cask for makers. Yep. Hmm. You're like you're just going straight in because you already know what this is like. Yup. I love it. Hmm. Smells like makers. That's about all I can say. Do you smell any makers mark product? Here you go. Well, I mean, every single makers mark product is all the same whiskey. They just finish them a little bit different. Exactly. But even just regular makers is fucking good. So like. Yeah, no, if I'm ever going out to a dive bar or whatever and I want whiskey, Maker's Mark is usually my go-to because I don't know. Everyone has it and yeah. it's usually not expensive. And it's not bad. Like, I won't, like, I occasionally buy a bottle, but, like, I don't really sit from it. I'll make some cocktails with it or something, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't ever buy bottles either. Never. I've been through two bottles in the last two weeks. It's going to rough go at it. <laughs> Speaking of good shit, this is good shit. Yeah, this is good shit. Yeah, no, I think that they put, what is it, like, I think the staves are on the back of it, actually. They are, I was looking at They should have listed. Indeed they are. But, like, this one, like, had, like, the heaviest amount of stave that they did with it was French mocha. And, like, that one imparts, like, the roasty, slightly mm -hmm. chocolate notes that you get in it. For sure. And then, I think French cuvee was, like, the second biggest, and that, like, makes it a little more... Um, like viscous. You definitely get the chocolate. Yeah. For sure. Hundred percent. There's a lot of chocolate in this. For sure. Which is why it's one of my favorites. It's like a totally dark honest. chocolate too. Yeah. It's not like super roasty. But it's and, and this this is the first one I've had that isn't like it doesn't taste like cocoa. It tastes like chocolate. Yep. It's the, they did a really good job with the picks and then. Honestly, there's a, like this is one of my favorite whiskeys, like hands down. Like it is just so the flavor is there. It. It's <laughs> weeded, so like you don't get too much spice aside from cinnamon. Mm -hmm. that, I can't say enough good things about it. That's why I bought five bottles of it. <laughs> <laughs> when are you gonna get a chance to buy this pick again? You never will. So I don't even blame you. That was yeah, like, anyone anyone watching this, all three of you, um, good luck ever finding this. Because you won't. <laughs> yeah, although they're you won't find this soon. Well, you won't, this you won't find this pick in a store. Yeah, this particular batch you won't find again. But the only way you'll find it's on secondary, and good luck because of the fact that it's a fine wine and spirits pick. You gotta find one from PA. Yeah. Now this is, I mean. But yeah, like, but you taste this and you can tell it's makers yes. right off the bat. Oh, absolutely. And then. This is why I'm really excited to finally get my hands on that, um, what is it, the bourbon, New Jersey Bourbon and Yacht Club pick. Mm -hmm. Like, that one was like a whiskey club got together, they're like, let's do a maker's pick, and apparently it's absolutely astounding. From, like, I'd love to try that side by side with this. Oh, we will. It's yeah. just a matter of me getting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta get out to Boston to see my friend Jordan. I haven't seen him in quite some time. He's, he was my, uh, my um, did my one friend that I was just bullshit about with beer. He and I went to beer class together. But... Oh, that one, yeah. Yes. <laughs> he was one of my partners. I almost saying, took it, but I wasn't in engineering anymore and couldn't fit into my schedule. That was easily the best class I ever took, and it was the easiest day I ever got in college. <laughs> like I was see, my like... easiest day was heavy metal music. <laughs> Wait, hold shit on. Was that not. beer class the one that you can also take the trip to Belgium or something like yes, that? Yes, and I did that the year after. So I didn't do it the year of, I did it the year after as like my senior trip kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it took a lot of like convincing to like convince yeah. my dad to let me go because I'm like, look, I can go to Belgium down the road, yes, but I will never get the experience that I'm getting with this trip. And my mom's like, he's going. He's pulling out the loans. You're not paying for it. What does it fucking matter? Yeah. <laughs> so that was how I ended up going to Belgium. Yeah, I had someone in my Bio One recitation group who was in that class and went to Belgium over spring break, I think. Mm -hmm. And then came back home, hung over, and took a test the next day. Yep. yep. Oh, um, that sounds familiar. You literally... Are Me tomorrow? That trip, you were not, not drinking. Like, <laughs> yeah. we would wake up 
at like eight a.m. Like to go. Me. And, yeah, we would go on like brewery tours. Oh, like, ooh. Oh my. Uh -oh. <laughs> Maker's Mark 2020 <laughs> pri private select store pick, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>